Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carissa, and I'm a very sleepy girl right now. <laughs> it is very early, it's 7.40 right now. I was up at 6.30, which is very early. I am not a morning person. <laughs> Today, we are gonna go to Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna get my hair done. I got it cut last week, but my hair girl, Chandler, asked if I wanted to be the model for her class. She's gonna like like teach how to do highlights. She's like, do you want to be the model and get your hair done for free? And I was like, duh. <laughs> so the salon without any traffic is an hour away. So it's pretty far. We're gonna leave here in the next few minutes. It's pouring rain out. There was thunder and lightning when I woke up and I was like, oh dear God. <laughs> I'm a little nervous for the drive just because of these stormy conditions and just driving to LA in general could be a little sketchy. I'm so responsible. Last night I packed myself a lunch because I always screw myself over and I'll go places hungry and thirsty and then I'll feel like I'm gonna pass out and it's just, it's a never ending cycle. So I was smart. I have a little lunch box here. <laughs> I have a hydro flask full of water. I made myself a turkey sandwich. I got some grapes, some granola bars, like I am set. I also packed an energy drink in case I'm sleepy on the way home because I'm very tired right now. This is my hair right now. I haven't gotten like highlights done in maybe five months. This is kind of like my natural color a little bit. So I'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna take Max out right now and get him all settled and then I'll just come right back. I was gonna spend the day out there, but then I was like, I don't want to leave Max here for too long, so I'm gonna come back to my dog. I also got up extra early so that I could do like a load of laundry only for me to wear a completely different outfit. <laughs> I just have this sweater on from Free People and then we got some Zara jeans on. They have a little slit and then some Dior sneakers. This is the fit. Just casual comfy so when I'm sitting in the chair, I'll be comfortable. You can tell it's kind of dark out there. Actually very nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. Say a prayer for me and uh, I'll touch base when we get to the Beverly Hills. Yay! I just got here. The first thing I see is someone pull up like a few spots down from me and uh, drop off a pee bottle. And they drove off and I was like, wow, welcome to LA. Right as I'm about to eat. So that's great. <laughs> I never have an appetite in the morning, but I'm gonna force myself to eat. That way I don't get lightheaded during this. I drink some water, probably eat half of my sandwich that I packed. Live my best life in the car. Thankfully there was like no traffic cause it's a holiday today. It's Martin Luther King day. So happy Martin Luther King day. I have like 30 minutes to spare. So I'm gonna take my sweet time. <laughs> Nothing like a turkey sandwich at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm only gonna eat a few bites of it though because I know I'm gonna be starving afterwards. This makes me feel like I'm in school again. <laughs> Except I would be sitting in my really like shitty car. <laughs> that car was so bad that even if it just like drizzled, it would still drift in the rain and I'd be like, let's go. Speaking of school, do you guys ever get like just random anxiety attacks? <laughs> I used to get them so bad all throughout high school to the point where I would like let my thoughts spiral to the point where I would like pass out. And lately I've been feeling that again and I don't know why. Like the whole way here, I just felt like I like couldn't breathe right and I was like, Carissa, you're fine. <laughs> I feel better though now that I did like my little breathing exercises and that I'm like sitting here drinking water, eating a sandwich, like I'm fine. <laughs> There's literally no reason for it, but it's just, it's there. So I learned in therapy just a quick little breathing exercise. So if you guys need this, you can literally do it anywhere. I was doing it while I drive, but usually you're supposed to do it with your eyes closed. So obviously don't close your eyes when you're driving. But if you're sitting still, I like to close my eyes and then you take a deep breath in for four seconds and then you hold that breath for eight seconds and then you breathe out out for four seconds and then when you breathe out you literally get every ounce of air out of your body and like you like envision yourself letting out all of like the anxiety and the bad like negative thoughts and then you do that like I don't know like five times however many times you need and it really just slows your heartbeat down <laughs> for me at least and it just like forces myself to relax and then I can feel like I like really caught my breath and it helps it helps me calm down and realize like okay <sighs> I'm fine. <laughs> Anxiety sucks. I'm done eating. <laughs> I'm just touching up my makeup. This is Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Iconic Nude. So good, I love this. And then I'm just gonna put on some Burt's Bees chopstick. The pomegranate one is so good. All done. I feel like I have food in my teeth. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside. I also have to button my jeans because I unbutton them because they're so tight when I sit down, so. You know, sometimes you have sitting jeans, sometimes you have standing jeans. These are more of a standing jean, but let's go get this hair highlighted. much better. 
better. It's so much lighter. I just feel like myself again when I get my hair like lightened up because I grew up with like super, super, super blonde hair. So I just feel like myself. I feel good, refreshed. That was such an interesting experience. I have never had so many people sitting there staring at me. I didn't have to say anything, thank God. I didn't vlog much in there because I was so nervous because literally it was just like everyone was like writing down notes and asking questions and stuff and just like there was like a GoPro on my head and like then there was another lady like leading the class and then my hair leader was like explaining what she was doing and like all this stuff and it was so intense. At the end like everyone was coming up and like touching my hair and like I was just like okay. It was a little overwhelming but I actually really liked it and I learned a lot because I was paying attention. Now I'm starving. <laughs> I would definitely do that again so if you get the opportunity to be a little model for your hair girl, do it. <laughs> the sun is like kind of popping out. I'm gonna eat the rest of my sandwich now. <laughs> I'm going to eat my sandwich on the go <laughs> and head home to Maxi. Traffic is starting to pick up a little bit, so I'm going to hit the road. I'll show you guys like an up close of my hair when we get home. Hello, it's the next day. <laughs> I got home yesterday and I had such a bad headache that I took Max out and then I came inside, literally took a nap. And I was like, okay, if I take a nap, then the headache will go away. I woke up and it was still there and I was like, no. If you watched my last few videos, I think I've been complaining about having a headache and I've literally had a headache for like the last few days so i went to bed with a bad headache last night and i woke up and it was still there and i literally got up at 7 a.m and put like an ice pack on my head and then i was like that's not like where the pain is like tmi but whatever um i usually get headaches when i'm about to get my period but it's like a different type of headache and like tylenol or advil or whatever usually takes care of it but like nothing is helping i've literally put away like all of my candles because sometimes like scented things can like bother my head i've taken tylenol i'm hydrated like literally everything you could think of and the root of it is like at the top of like my neck and it's just like a dull lingering headache so I'm gonna go get adjusted at my chiropractor and hope that that helps. I'm not gonna do any like crazy makeup right now. I just put on some brow gel and some powdered foundation just to kind of put something on. Cause last time I went there, you had to like, you know, put your face in like a hole. Like it's like one of those like tables, you know, you have to lay on. And my mascara, like my eyelashes were stuck to my face. So I'm not gonna do any crazy makeup, but I am going to touch up my hair. Still kind of has a little bit of like flippies from yesterday, but I want to kind of touch them up. And first, I'm going to start off with my bangs. Section these off. I want to put these ones in like a roller, but I need to get them to be like hot first. So I'm going to use my blow dryer and my roll brush, and I'm going to like roll them with the blow dryer and then put my roller in. That way it can like cool down while it's in the curler. I turned my lights off just for a second because sometimes this blow dryer can irritate the outlet with the mirror. <laughs> You can see it's already like flipped, so I'm just gonna add in this curler right here while my hair is still warm. Kind of pull it through. Because it's like a Velcro roller, it just kind of sits there, which is incredible. Love that. Also, this blow dryer is from Eva NYC. It's really good, I actually really like it. Now I'm gonna use my Beach Waver wand. I'm literally just gonna barely, barely touch up the ends just to add some little flippies. <gasps> no! Literally just curl the ends. This one's nice because it has a little bit of a clamp and then you can use this and it's so easy. Literally just for like six seconds and then I just kind of release it like that and don't brush them out or anything. I'll brush them out towards the end but literally I'm just curling the ends just a little bit just to add a little um. I'll link this curling iron down below too. Literally obsessed with it. It's so good. I I think I have a code for it. I used to, I just don't know if it's still like valid. If it is valid, I'll put it down below. <laughs> this barrel is 1.25, by the way. When I'm doing like the little flippies, I like to use a bigger barrel curling iron. Wait for them to like fully cool and then I'll just kind of like comb through them with my fingers. This thing's just like hanging around. Shake them out a little bit. It doesn't do much. It's just like a little something, you know. My hair's not like, you know, frizzy. <laughs> Take this guy out here. Oh, we do have a little flip. I'm just gonna kind of play with this a little bit. Like that. That's what I want. Oh, 
I love it. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Maybe put a little bit of dry shampoo in at the top. Besides the headache, yesterday was actually so fun. I wish I could do that every time, honestly. I think being like a hairstylist would be a really fun job, actually. Just like listening to it, I was like, oh my god, there's so much that goes into like all these like formulas and stuff. But I feel like once you get like the hang of it and you get it all down, it could be so fun. I have to leave in six minutes to go get my neck cracked. Like and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can see my next video. I love you all so much. Thank you again for watching and I will see you on Saturday.